Right, morning everyone, it's Paul down at CCRV. We're going to go on a bit of an adventure here. So we're doing a video, a few series of a video, uh, where we're actually heading down to Devon. So we're packing all our stuff up. You see, as per usual, we're going light. Uh, we've got the all important, we've got the all important fishing rods, which, we, which we'll be doing a bit of fishing later on. But the main thing is we're going to do a video for our customers and potential customers so you can see the rig actually being used. So we're just setting off, we're gonna pack it up and then the plot thickens as we go along. Okay. Right, the journey's going pretty good so far. Uh, we've, I think we've got 300 miles actually to the destination and I think we've covered, how many have we covered so far? 150. 150. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop at the service stations here, fill up with juice, have a cup of coffee, um, just have a relax for half an hour and then get back on the road and that should leave us about 140 miles to go. So I'll do a little bit of filming as we get nearer Woolakoo uh, and take it from there. There we are, we're just pulling into the old service station here. Some of the HGVs, cars and caravans and coaches. Yep, yeah, so we'll give that a go. And there, cars and caravans. There we go, this way. There you go, and we've got a lovely bit of parking just here. And I suppose we've got to head out and get some fuel, so we'll park up this end here. And right next to us is a motorhome towing a car. Oh, there you go. I've granted ours is a little bit further back, but if you look at the overall length, and this isn't a very big motorhome either, it's quite a short one. So if you look at him towing a car, and you look at ours, see there's the truck there, there's not a whole lot of difference. And as I say, that's not a very big motorhome. He's got towing stickers and all sorts on there, look. But that's our option, you see, with the fifth wheel and with the car. There's not a whole lot of difference. Right, we're going to go and have a cup of tea now. All right, that's it, we're all filled up and we're off. And this is quite a tight old petrol station, a typical motorway one, really. So rather than, so we don't take all the pumps out, we just go a little bit wide. That's it, we go through this, uh, through this gap here, making sure we're Nice and wide on the bends, keep your eye on the mirrors. <coughs> this is quite narrow through here. Everybody likes watching us as well while we're on these. Yeah, so while we're filming and that. So, so there you go, we're all filled up. And we're on our way, about 100, well we've got Avril left. About 100 miles. About 100 miles or so. So I'll do a bit more filming when we get closer to Willacombe. I'm sure Steve's going to put a bit of a map and all that on on the um, <clears throat> on our route and everything that we've taken. But don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and you can follow the other three or four episodes that we'll do of this little adventure. And do remember, it's free to subscribe to our channel. Well, here we are. We come up to the roundabout now, and this should be heading down to Willacombe. Let's just dodge the traffic so we don't get beeped. There we go. Wanaku, Lee and Mort Ho. Now this should be a bit hairy now because the roads are a bit narrow. They've just phoned, the campsite's just phoned and said they shut at five. So we've got about four minutes to get there and I reckon it's going to take us ten. So we'll see what happens. But everyone stops for us, that's quite nice. Thank you. Oh, we're pretty close to the campsite now. This is where it gets a little bit hairy, so we'll have to give way to folks in these little laybys. But anywhere Devon, Cornwall's all a little bit like this. It's all built so that you can get by. Uh, obviously, it's a little bit bigger than a caravan, so a little bit hairier. But people are very courteous. Uh, never had a problem finding a campsite that we can get into.
there we go for a little town how far we got to go third of a mile Mort Ho this is a lovely little, t- little town this is I hope we're going to have a, a good time here we've never stayed at this campsite before hopefully it should be just up here on the left let's have a see that poke your nose out there we go everybody's uh, looking at amazed what we've got here on the back of this thing they're mainly motorhomers, I think. Quarter of a mile, turn right. Uh, let's see, a mate is going in the hedge. That's it. There we go. This is the tightest bit of road we've come down to, but it would be the same in a caravan. You would have to give way, or in a motorhome, you'd have to give way. Steve has got a bit of music to this, I think. We should be there in a sec. Sign that's looking promising. There we go, Wollacoon Camp Farm Camping Park. Here we're here. Let's we'll whip in here and get into the arrival section. I think. In one tenth of a mile, uh, turn left. And have a come run in. Have can run into the reception and get our passes and find our pitch. Isn't that right, it was an easy old trip that was, isn't it? it You're going to go and get a pass. Actually, yeah. yeah, we've had about three or four arguments, but we've made it. <laughs> yeah. That's it, that's the reception and the barrier. We'll do a few videos of the campsite. I mean, it looks a lovely campsite. It's a good old run down here from us, about six, seven hours, something like that. There we go, nice old campsite. Bit windy, bit blowy, but what do you expect? It's September and we're down by the coast. The sea is just literally over there. But we do a picture of the sea. And there's the rig. There's the rig. We made it all in one piece. Uh, so now what we've got to do is uh, get it on the pitch. Alright, we're on the pit on the campsite. And now we're gonna find our pitch. I think this is the guy. In the old, uh, I suppose they ash you onto every pitch, I don't know. It's the escort. Oh, is he? Oh, let's have a go and see if we can get on there. Hello. Hiya. Hello. He's 82. 82, sir. Very helpful. Little helpful here. Get you on your pitch. Make sure you can get on no matter what size your rig. But so far, so good. Your golf cart doesn't sound that healthy. If you look right through the gap, you can see the sea. See that tanker out there? There you go, look, we've got a fishing lake here. Oh, um, is this it yet? Oh, there, right, this where's the it. water? This is ours. Now, that could not be easier, really, to get it in there. Look. If we, we get it straight, we're almost... It couldn't actually we picked the best spot we could have picked really. Let's have a look if that's straight. Is that straight? Have a look if that's straight. Just where well, us have a look where the fence is. That's where the fence is. So I'll go out a little bit more and I'll come back, but just get straight, yeah? If I go out a little bit more, and I can go backwards. That'll do us, I reckon. Happy days. That'll do us. That'll do us, have a line. All right, we're gonna get it off the truck now. So we've got it in position. And all we've got to do now is drop the legs. So we've got a button here, extend the legs. So these two front legs here, which extend in. Right, watch your head, Avril. Then we drop the tailgate. And we have a look in here for a bit of light, just to show between the plate and the pin box. See it going up, creaks a bit. That'll go up, takes the weight off. 
There you are, a little bit of light. You can see that bit of light there now. We'll take this breakaway cable off. I'm going to pull the hitch out. That's it, unplug this. Unplug these two plugs, this does the lights, brakes and everything else. This does the rear lights. And then what we'll do is we'll get Avril just to uh, drive the truck off. Right, so that's it off basically. So now all we've got to do is get the slides out. So I'll show you how to do that. That's really, really simple. Open the door. Get the step, steps out, which again is pretty straightforward. I'll, ad I'll adjust those once we're done. You see, it's been a bit, uh, everything's a bit thrown about here. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll get the slide out. Now yeah, that's the slide going out. So that's going out in position. Get the slide out. That's the uh, dining area and everything. That's as simple as it is. It just literally goes out like that. I'll put the table back in one piece. So that's that done. The table just slides back in there. There you go, there's our table. And then we'll get the slide out in the bedroom. We've got the slide going out there. That's the wardrobe slide. So that's the wardrobe slide going out, so a bit squeaky, probably needs a drop of silicon on there or something. I think we've got it fairly level. The slide goes out. Put that drawer back in, I think that flew out. Everything's sort of on breeze or hinges and everything on there, so nothing's actually going to break. And then we're working out to put some interior lights on. There you go, hey presto. We got some lights, so this is our new home for a week. It's quite impressive, isn't it, really? Put some lights on, there's our bedroom. There's the lights there. there we got a nice bedroom, so we'll see how we get on. But it looks a lovely, lovely campsite. I mean, we can't really go wrong, actually. I mean, I'll show you the view out of our window. Hey, how's that? Fishing Lake. But we'll have a good walk around the site later on.